after tax and before tax what's the formula interest divided by net proceeds for issuing the debenture 100 rupees is the face value that means it is nothing but your net proceeds premium is nothing but an extra so 100 into 5 percent 5 rupees 105 rupees will be your net proceeds 100 into 10 percent 10 rupees 10 rupees if you subtract from 100 it will be 90 rupees Hello everybody, I am your Divya Ma'am, Assistant Professor from the Department of Commerce and Management, lecturing with Dhyasham First Grade College, Mike Suru, the Temple of Excellence. A warm welcome to you all for the session 2 on your unit 1, Cost of Capital. So in the last class, we have discussed about the concepts and the formulas, redeemable formula, irredeemable formula. We have also discussed on redeemable preference shares and irredeemable preference shares. And we have also discussed about the equity shares and the formulas and the various approach to calculate the cost of equity. In today's class, without wasting much of our time, let us start the class. The agenda for today's discussion concepts and the problems. So, we will take up the problems on debenture, calculation of cost of debt that is irredeemable problem we have taken. So, in your last class, if you all have any doubts regarding the concepts or the formulas, kindly go back to the previous session and take up the classes, look at the classes and understand the formulas and then visit this channel and then start solving irredeemable problem. Moving forward, let us understand the question. If you don't understand the question, you cannot write the problem and solve the problem properly. So, it is very important for you all to read out the question because you does not know which problem for which formula you have to apply. What are the different formulas we have? Which formula to which problem we have to apply? So, to make sure that you need to understand the formulas first. So, kindly check out the formulas. So, let us read out the question. Problem number one, that is problem on debentures, irredeemable debt. A company issued 8% debenture of rupees 100 each. The company tax rate is 40%. Calculate tax rate is given. So, tax rate is given, then it is after tax irredeemable problem. Calculate the cost of debt before tax and after tax. So, in your question, they have asked to calculate before tax and as well as the after tax calculation to be done. So, if the debenture are issued at a par, issued at a premium 5%, and at a discount of 5%. So, you need to calculate under three conditions issued at a par before tax and after tax, issued at a premium before tax and after tax, issued at a discount before tax and after tax. So, the formula will be same, only the premium, par and the discount calculation will be different. So, let us write down given in the question. So, what is given in the question? 8% debenture of rupees 100 each for issuing the debenture 100 rupees is the face value that means it is nothing but your net proceeds. So, net proceeds is how much 100 rupees and on that 100 rupees what is the debenture interest that you all have to provide 8%. So, 100 into 8% it is 8 rupees. So, interest will be 8 rupees and what is the further information given in the question 40% tax rate. So, 40% if you convert into decimal it will be 0 0.4. 0 0.4 tax rate is 0 0.4 is the tax rate. Now, let us calculate before tax and after tax. Before tax and after tax. So, before tax formula cost of debt symbolically written as K subscript with D interest divided by net proceeds. So, what is given in the question interest 8 rupees is the interest. What is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is rupees 100. So, let us use the calculator and find out what is the answer. 8 divided by 100, it is 0 0.08 or when it is converted into percentage, it is 8%. So, this is the cost of debt before tax 
calculation of issued at par. Now we will be calculating issued at a par after tax. The only formula that changes is 1 minus tax into interest divided by net receipts. So what is the tax rate given in the question? 1 minus tax rate 0 0.4. 0 0.6 will be the answer. Interest, what is the interest rate? 100. If you take up 8% interest, 8 rupees is the interest divided by your net proceeds. So, what will be the calculation? 1 minus 0 0.4 will be 0 0.6. 0 0.6 into 0 0.08, it will be 0 0.048 or Convert into percentage, it is 4.8%. So, it is 0 0.8 and 0 0.048 is the answer which is issued at a par. Now, let us calculate issued at a premium. Issued at a premium. How much, how much is the percentage? Premium percentage? Premium percentage is 5%. Issued at 5% premium. So, premium is nothing but an extra. So, 100 into 5%, 5 percent, 5 rupees. 105 rupees will be your net proceeds. So, interest remains the same. So, what will be the formula again? Interest divided by net proceeds. Interest divided by net proceeds. Interest is 8 and net proceeds will be 105. So, if you convert, what will be the answer? The answer will be 8 divided by 105 it will be 0 0.076. Next, we have to calculate for after tax issued at a premium. So, formula changes 1 minus tax rates adds here. So, cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. 1 minus tax rate, interest will be 8, net proceeds is 0 0.5. Tax rate will be 0 0.4. If you substitute the value 1 minus 0 0.4, it will be 0 0.6. So, 8 divided by 105 into 0 0.6, it will be 0 0.0456. 0 0.0456 will be the answer as we have got issued at a premium after tax and before tax and after tax. Next we have, we have to calculate issued at a discount. How many percent issued at a discount? 5 percent. So now let us calculate issued at a 5 percent discount. So 5 percent discount under into 5 percent again it will be 5 rupees if you subtract 95 will be the net proceeds. So similarly formula is same interest is rupees 8 your net proceeds will be 95. So 8 let's use the calculator and check out 8 divided by 95 your cost of debt issued at discount will be 0 0.0842 so that will be the answer. If you are issuing at a discount, that is your before tax problem. Now, let us do it for after tax. Only thing changes is you are adding of the interest, adding of the tax rate. So, cost of debt is equal to, similarly, we are doing it for after tax. Cost of debt is equal to interest is rupees 8, net proceeds will be 95, 1 minus tax rate is 0 0.4. If you substitute the value, the answer you get is 0 0.0504. So, this is how you calculate your irredeemable problem that is before tax and after tax. Moving forward for your more clarity on the problems, let us take up one more problem and understand the problem in a better way. Moving forward, problem number two, a company issued 10% debenture of rupees 100 each, 100 rupees will be the net proceeds and 10% will be the interest. So 10 rupees will be the interest, 100 rupees will be the net proceeds. Tax rate is 30%, 0.30 will be the tax rate. Calculate the cost of debt before as well as after tax. If the debentures are issued at a par, 
10% premium and 10% discount. The only difference we have here is the 10% premium, 10% discount. Only that is the uh, difference we have. Rest of everything is similar as we have done in the last problem. Let's solve the problem now. First is issued at par. Issued at par after tax and before tax. What's the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds. Cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. What is the interest? 10 rupees is the interest. Net proceeds is 100. The only difference we have is for after tax problem issued at par. Cost of debenture is equal to 1 minus tax rate. What is the tax rate? 0 0.3 is the tax rate. 10 divided by 100. So, if you do the calculations, what will be the answer? Let's use the calculator and check out the answer. So, 10 divided by 100, it is 0 0.1. If you convert into percentage, it will be 10%. Next, after tax, irredeemable debenture issued at par. Next, if we want to calculate 1 minus 0 0.3 it is 0 0.7 into 0 0.1, it is 0 0.07 or it is 7%. 7% or 1%. That is 0 0.01, 10% or it is 7% issued at a par after tax and before tax. Now let us calculate issued at premium at 10%. 10% 10 on 100 rupees it will be 110 rupees. So what is your interest? Interest is 10 rupees divided by 110. Net proceeds 110 because we are issuing at a premium. The only difference we have after taxes the formula 1 minus tax rate that is 0 0.3. Now let us check the answer. 10 divided by 110. It is 0 0.090. Again this answer it will be 1 minus 0 0.3. 1 minus 0 0.3, it will be 0 0.7, 0 0.7 into 0 0.090, it will be 0 0.063. So, that will be the answer if you are issuing at a premium, 10% premium. Next, issued at discount. How many percent? 10 percent is the discount. So, 100 into 10 percent, 10 rupees. 10 rupees if you subtract from 100, it will be 90 rupees. So, cost of debt is equal to 10 divided by 90. Here, cost of debt is equal to 1 minus, 1 minus 0 0.3, 10 divided by 90 rupees. So, what will be the answer? Let's check it. Let's verify the answer using the calculator. So, 10, 10 divided by 90, it is 0 0.11. It is 0 0.11. Next, it is 0 0.077. So, this is the cost of debt problem, irredeemable problem issued at a par premium and at a discount irredeemable problem before tax and after tax. So two problems that we have taken in today's class. Hope the session was very interesting and you have learned the problems. So that's it for today's class. Hope there is a clarity on irredeemable debenture for you all. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people. Keep smiling. Thank you.